Hello Aries, welcome back to the channel. Aries the Emperor here. I am back with another general reading for all of my Aries collective. If you guys are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all of my Aries placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well to everyone. Just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you and that is okay. Do not force the reading. Um, thank you all for being here, okay? Um, like, subscribe, shares, donations um, to those of you who book readings and purchase from the website. Um, like I mentioned, I am running a sale on the on the site as of right now, um, especially regarding personal readings. Um, I have sent out quite a few and I, I am working to connect with each and every last one of you guys as well as get your orders out. So um, that's why I've been a little busy behind the scenes, but let's jump into the reading. Uh, let's just do an energy check. Let's see what messages come out regarding you um, in this crazy world. How's everyone doing out there? Oh, found it in YouTube land. All right, let's get into the reading. All right, Holy Spirit, angels, guides, the highest white light messages for Aries spirit. What does Aries need to know? Who's checking in on Aries? Who's checking for Aries? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy and the Knight of Pentacles. I like to look at both of them as Capricorn energy, um, but very clear. You know, this is um, somebody with some bad habits, you know. Um, so just beware, you know, of the company that you keep, you know, and, and, and just being aware of, of the company you know you don't need to keep and stick to that. Because, um, you know, with the devil, it just, you know, it's normally... Um, uh, a, a toxic, a, 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 a negative um, attachment, you know, connected to it, you know, an extra entity, you know, or one that, of course, as we see, is not of, of the light because this could be the, um, anything that's unhealthy for you. Um, like I said, people, places, or things. If, even if this is like some type of competition, it's like somebody's getting nowhere playing. It's playing with you especially. Five of Cups. You have the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. Ooh. Three of Swords is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Like, you know, this is just that type of energy here. Like I said, you know, the, the devil is very, is always busy, you know, unfortunately. Um, and it's just like an energy of, of something making you feel good for the moment. You know what I'm saying? In the long haul, it's, it's, it's not worth it here. Um, so this very well could be somebody maliciously or I don't gonna say maliciously like this could be people who are doing like specific things behind your back you know and, and feeling shitty afterwards um or getting caught you know even for that matter here because the eight of swords in reverse is just like an energy of no matter who or what you got going on you know you um it's it's a level of you not focusing and staying in your head like when it comes to other people in general you know their problems um, and and what have you <laughs> and it's like even if it you feel like it is just that little bit of light that you carry it's still enough light you know for somebody especially like the devil to come in and want to steal your joy you know what I'm saying? Keep you in a sunken place. It's like that type of energy here. And you know, it's it's eight of swords. You're you're throwing it back, you know. Uh, you're not staying in you're not staying in that place. You guys, it is so chilly in here, even with my heater on, so that's why I'm dressed like a bear. 
All right, we've got the chariot, sun. Um, I'm sorry, not sun. Um, cancer energy is what the, the chariot card is. Yeah. It's like moving right along. It's like, yeah, I still care for you, but I'm going to care for you from over there. Type energy, Aries. And that's how you have to do a lot of people, you know, uh, I'm not going to say a lot of people, but, you know, in, in certain instances, you know, this is, is really how you have to, to show people that you mean business, you know, Knight of Cups. They'll come running back. The lovers, yeah. Gemini energy. And people may say, you know, that you may be a lot of things, but you, like, you are somebody who, with a great heart, you know, it's some, and it's like people would rather have you around more, I feel like, than the people who really don't want you around, you know, or, um, and this could be people that you work with, you know, you, you could be helping your work situation more than people realize, or, you know, that people may give you credit for, you know, and even in your relationships, you know, people may not admit you know, how much or how how deep of a level um, that they care for you, um, have e some type of emotions for you, and, and you being in their mind, you know, a, a lot, you know, or at least that being a space um, where you, you still resonate. Um, and this is energies of people might be possibly wanting to reconnect, you know, with the seasons changing here. That's That's totally normal. For people to want to spend the block and you know as they say cuddle season so somebody could be upset that you already you know found your your cuddler for the 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 holidays or you know for the winter rather um so and this could be energy of people figuring out you know ugh, you're unavailable you know whether that is um and being in an actual relationship with someone partnership um, or just, you know, just not interested, just, just not the direction or your focus right now here. So that could tend to make people suspicious, you know, why you're not giving in to um, talk the toxicity and, and the lust that they're throwing in your direction here. It kind of, you know, makes people feel less than um, or makes them feel, feel pretty stupid, I guess, like coming to you in that light here, but still a level of obsessiveness you know and, and still jealousy i'm not gonna say jealousy but um like i said you know people um it, it's like mixed emotions with the devil and the lovers here four swords gemini energy what other messages spirit uh -oh. let's try that again loves Well, okay. Somebody's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want them to know that. I don't want to say that. I don't want that to come out. No, no, we're not coming out. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you already know. I love this card. You know how that this clam. It's like a, a pearl, but you know it's it's something that's very unique about. Um, just this entire process, you know, and pearls in general. Um, and like I said, you know, no matter how long it took or t t takes you or it takes anybody to realize, you know, your worth um, and, and just how special that you really are, you know. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of times it'd be too late, you know. The, and it, that's just life, you know, and, and, and we put in different situations here. Um, that if they serve us and they help us and, and help us to um, do better for ourselves and, and, and to grow, um, where we can thrive and, and feel comfortably in our own energies, you know, and not feel judged. Um, like this is this is you 100%, but um, you don't have that same energy a lot of times. And that's what's showing up out here, Aries. Like, 
people don't know what to do with you, I guess you can say that in a sense here. But um, you, like I said, you do have people who are here to stick. And if you are um, having any substance abuse issues, problems, just make sure, you know, to talk to a therapist or um, seek some type of counseling. There's nothing wrong with that because this could be somebody, and I'm not saying this is you, but this could be someone with a negative relationship with alcohol or abusing that right now. Got the Emperor and the Ace of Swords. Or this could be something in the past that someone dealt with and has overcome. It's giving like sobriety is like that is what I'm saying. For me, that Ace of Pentacles, I don't know why that's shining through for me. Or who, if, whether it resonates with you or not because the Emperor came out and that's conquering something. And the Ace of Swords, you know, it's there is no gray area, you know, when, when it comes to you, especially how people feel. It's, I feel like it's very black and white. Eight of Wands. All right, that is Sagittarius energy. Yes, I have energy. These cards look so different, I had to think about it. other messages spirit the will of fortune and it came out in reverse sag energy the hermit some of you guys may need to think um separating yourself if and i don't mean just like to isolate yourself here but um this is i feel like an energy of someone like pushing out trying to call back your luck in some way, shape, or form here with the Wheel of Fortune and the, the Eight of Wands. Because that is something being pushed out to you. Um, and then the Wheel of Fortune, you know, this could be some type of karma. Um, some type of not so good karma type energy. Or not so, so good of a flow, you know, freak accidents. Or, you know, just weird things happening. Things that you're not able to explain. Um, the Hermit and the Six of Cups. Uh, like this is an energy of refocus, refining yourself, rededicating yourself. Um, and, and, you know, whatever is, if you do feel like that there is someone trying to cast or throw negative energies, vibes, or any way, shape, or form here. I mean, you, you, this would be the, the, the type of energy that you would need to separate from. I don't care what type of memories and who this person or, or what they are. Um, it's something that, like, you're... There, there's like a, a, a lesson or a, 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 a something here to be gained for you, to be gained for you here or to be called back to you here. You know, that someone feels like they could rightfully take, whether this is like spiritually or physically, or just take it how it resonates. But you have the Empress is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like there's somebody definitely that could be sick about you. Like I said, whether they come off as it or not. This could be somebody who's manipulative too as well and plays, you know, they're, they're just not fair. Um, they're, this is the type of energy that always wants to have the upper hand on, on you in some way, shape, or form. Come out as looking at, as, you know, like the, the bigger character. When you got the devil out here with the emperor, like, come on. You know, you ain't going out without fight. I tell you that, Aries. And a good one. You know what I'm saying? Just take it how it resonates. And it's just like an energy where someone's like, oh, Aries is going another round. Another round. You know, Aries is doing what? Is where? You know, just... Like some type of introspection and some type of I for me the hermit is similar to like the hangman as well because it's definitely I feel uh, with the hermit it's, it's an energy of you becoming wiser you know and um, with the the hangman is it's also for me wiser energy and, and not only that 
um, like the perspective, the way you see things, you know, in Virgo with Virgo um, being that energy that is um, with the hermit energy, you know, something of um, master, ma mastering something. Oh, the message is here. Temperance, yeah. And sometimes it takes time, dedication. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Yeah, consistency, growth is what this is. Ten of Pentacles, Aries energy. You're going to get there. You know, somebody sees it with you, and, and even without them, they still see it for you. So, I'm going to leave this reading here, y'all. And I owe you guys a few more readings. I'm going to do my best to get back on here before the evening is over um, and upload another reading for you guys. Until then, um, I have work to do. I'll catch you later. Ciao.